Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well and having a lovely, lovely day. So I'm super excited for today's video because Munchpack have very kindly sent me another one of their snack boxes, which I am so excited about. I previously filmed a video where I tried some snacks from a munch pack that I was sent a couple of months ago, and munch pack have been extremely kind and generous and have sent me another box for me to try in a video. So thank you so, so much to munch pack for gifting this to me. So I haven't opened my munch pack yet, so I don't know what's inside it. I'm really looking forward to seeing what snacks I've been sent this time. So I thought I would just sit here and try the snacks on camera and give you guys my opinion of them. So I hope you enjoy and let's just get started. Here we go, this is so exciting. Oh, look at all these goodies. Oh, I think it's so exciting. You never know what you're gonna get. Like every time it's different. Oh, I'm so blooming excited. Let's just dig in. Okay, so this is the first snack I'm gonna be trying. These are lightly roasted lily seed puffs. And on the little sticker, it says these are from India. And these are like cheesy puffs. Puffed water lily seed snack seasoned with garlic and cheese. Wow, that sounds amazing. I've never like tried any Indian snacks before. Whoa, can't get it open. I literally have no muscle. This isn't working out. What the hell? Like the packaging is so thick, I cannot get into it. I need a strong man. Oh, I've just torn it. That's not how you do it, but that's the only way I was getting into it, so. Oh my God, the cheese is really strong, wow. These are like rock hard, I was not expecting that. Whoa. I don't know what happened there, but I just wasn't expecting that taste. I can't work out if I like it or not. It's weird because it's like, it sort of tastes like popcorn a little bit, but then it doesn't. And it's got cheese and it's got garlic and I'm like, never tried anything like this before. I mean, they're okay, but my face says, I wouldn't really choose to eat them, but they're all right. <laughs> I don't know, there's just a lot of like textures and flavours going on. I think it's too much for me. I'm just like a plain and simple gal. <laughs> what on earth? Okay, so these are called oinks and it says applewood smoked chocolate covered bacon. Chocolate and bacon just does not go together. I am really scared. Okay, and it's dark chocolate coating and that's the one type of chocolate like I'll eat it, but I don't really like it. Why am I having so much trouble opening things? I'm really nervous about this i mean i love bacon but just not with chocolate this is weird i'm nervous about this oh my god that is awful ew what the hell is this bacon it's so chewy why is it so chewy it's just not going away I can't get rid of it. That is a big no-no from me. Like, I don't even know what the hell that was. I bit into it, I was like, oh, the chocolate's nice, so maybe I do like dark chocolate after all. Then I just get into the bacon in the middle. It doesn't even taste like bacon. It's like really chewy. It's disgusting. <laughs> but I mean, that's the fun of these types of videos. You get to try all different snacks from around the world and most of it is in my taste, but it's still fun. <laughs> this looks like something I'm gonna like. So this is from Colombia, and this is called Ramo Chocoramo Mini. And it says a milk chocolate covered pound cake. That sounds delish. I've got high hopes for this. This sounds like it's right up my street. That is really nice. It's got like a sponge in the middle. Oh yeah, cause it did say cake, didn't it? Oh yeah, cause it looked like it was gonna be like a chocolate biscuit. But that's cake. It's so nice. This is so delicious. I really love it. That's why I'm eating the whole thing. But yeah, I like quite plain and simple snacks and treats. And this is exactly that. So this is from Taiwan. Wow, never tried anything from there. That's what I love about this munch pack. It's so cool. Like, you wouldn't try any of these sweets unless you have a munch pack. Like, it's just so cool. You get to try sweets from everywhere. Um, so this is a Yuki and Love seaweed corn cracker bar. Crunchy and savoury toasted corn with a salty seaweed flavour. That sounds 
intriguing. Can we just appreciate how cute the packaging is? That's adorable. It smells scary. This is gonna go everywhere, but I kinda wanna show you what it looks like. It's like solid, and then it's got these green sprinkles all over it. Whoa. Kinda looks like one solid cylinder crisp. That's actually all right, I think. Let's have another bite. It's a very unusual taste. Never tasted anything like it before. But I quite like it. It is sort of like crisps, but they just have more of a distinctive taste. But yeah, not bad at all. Oh my goodness, these are so cute. I know these are gonna be my favorite. So these are from China and these are called E fruity mini sea creature gummies. So they're chewy berry flavored gummies in the shape of sea creatures. I'm way too excited about these, but just look how cute they are. Oh my God. Oh my God, they smell amazing. Wow. Berry flavored, yeah, I can smell that. Oh my God, there's a turtle. Look at this turtle. I feel bad eating him. He's so cute. That's more my sour sweets. Wow, they are so good. Got a wee um, jellyfish. I love these. These are hands down my favorite thing I've tried so far. Here's a grab. These are gonna be so addicting, but the flavor in them is just insane. I could easily finish this packet, but I don't wanna be too greedy. Next up we have these, which are crunky almond chocolates. They're almonds coated in crunchy chocolate with crispy rice, and these are from Japan. I hate nuts it's like the one thing i just will not eat like there's other things i don't like but i can like at least force myself to eat them but this no just i can't <laughs> but i'm gonna have to for this video so hey hey um they're massive as well i was gonna be like i'll only eat one yeah but look at the size of them That wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. Like the chocolate sort of masks the taste of the almonds, which is really good um, for me because I don't like them. But definitely, if you like almonds, then you'll probably like these. Um, the chocolate on them is really nice. Like I like the chocolate, just wasn't so keen in the center. But again, that's just because I don't like nuts. But surprisingly, okay. <laughs> we have something from Indonesia. Um, so these are corn stick Swiss cheese flavor and it says crunchy Swiss cheese flavored roasted corn stick So there's a lot of like corn stuff Which is weird for me because I don't normally ever eat things like that. It's just such a weird texture I think there's so many cheese flavored stuff like I love cheese, but just cheese on its own like it's So weird that there's a cheese stick here. It's like corn. Oh Not feeling the smell When I first bit into it there, I was like, wait, what? But then, it actually kind of just tastes like what's it? There's a weird taste when you first bite into it, but then once you start munching on it, I can see a very close resemblance to what's it. We have some sour sweets here, which I know if my sister Laura was filming this video with me right now, she would just be laughing at me because I'm the worst when it comes to sour sweets. These are from Brazil and these are toxic waste sour and chewy bears. Chewy fruit flavored sour gummy bears. Whoa, they smell insane. I'm actually really looking forward to this because in the last video that I did, they said that their sweets were sour and actually they weren't too bad. So I feel like it's not gonna be that bad. I'll be able to tolerate it. Yeah, they're not sour at all to be honest. I just can't deal with like sour sweets that actually like make you cry and like pull weird faces. These aren't sour at all, but they're really yummy. I love these so much. That one was a bit sour, the blue one. The flavors are so strong as well, I really like them. Next up we have La Nina Limon potato chips. And it says crunchy potato chips with Colombian lime flavor. So obviously they're from Colombia. Um, lime flavor crisps? Well, that's the first time I've ever heard of that. Don't know if that's just me, but lime flavor crisps? Like, that's not something I would put together, but who knows, it could work. I might like them, let's try them. They smell really nice. It's like a really strong salt and vinegar. I love salt and vinegar crisps, but 
I know these aren't salt and vinegar crisps, but they just remind me of them for some weird reason. I don't taste lime, I just taste like really strong salt and vinegar, like to the point where you're like, whoa, too much. See, that one wasn't that bad that time. Maybe I'm getting used to them. They just remind me of really strong salt and vinegar crisps, which is weird because they're lime flavoured, but actually, I quite like those to be honest. And sadly, this is the last one. I really wish there was more because it's so much fun trying new snacks that you've never tried before. Um, so this one is from Brazil and it's Lacta Laca Oreo Bar. Sweet white chocolate with crunchy Oreo pieces inside. Well, I think this is a good one to end on because this sounds like heaven in a chocolate bar. Looking at it now, actually, I think I may have tried this already in my previous Munch Pack video, um, but I did say how much I liked it, I remember now and they might have popped that in there just because they know I love it. Yeah. Hands down, the best chocolate bar ever. This is so good, like my favorite chocolate is white chocolate, but then it has lumps of Oreo in it and it's so good. If you guys haven't tried this, you need to get your hands on it because I swear to you, it's the best chocolate bar I've ever had. So that Oreo bar was definitely my favorite thing, but Seen as I'd already tried that before, I'd say that my favourite out of the things that I hadn't tried before was definitely these fruity sea creatures. They were so good, I'm actually going to steal another one. Yeah. Oh, I know what they remind me of now. I don't know if any of you guys had these when you were younger, but there was little bags of sweets and they were called teeth and lips, I think. And these taste like the teeth that were in them. <laughs> that sounds so stupid, but if you know, then you know. So guys, that's the end of this video. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching me try all of these sweets and treats from all around the world. Thank you so, so much again to Munch Pack for being so kind and gifting me this. I will leave Munch Pack's website down below where you can sign up to a monthly subscription and get a Munch Pack delivered to your door every month or there's weekly options or you can just like buy it as a one-off. Um, there's so many different options. I'll leave the website down below. I would just like to make it clear that this video was not sponsored in any way. It was just very kindly gifted to me from Munch Pack. So all of my opinions on the sweets and treats are completely my own and are 100% honest. If you did enjoy watching the video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Also check out my Instagram and follow me on there. Thank you so, so much for watching guys and I'll see you again very, very soon. Bye.